Well, we have seen driverless cars on our streets, but sometime soon we may now see driverless mm -hmm. trains barreling through our communities. It's an idea that has a lot of people concerned about safety. Our chief investigative reporter, Morgan Lowe, is looking into this idea. He joins us now. Morgan? Kristen seen freight trains carry consumer goods, all the consumer goods under the sun, including lots of flammable and explosive chemicals. So the idea of operating these trains autonomously is not sitting well with everybody. Freight trains are big machines, a mile and a half or longer, and they can weigh 15,000 tons. Imagine this with nobody at the controls. The Federal Railroad Administration released a request for information in March, asking industry stakeholders and the public for potential benefits, costs, risks, and challenges to implementing automated railroad operations. More than 3,300 people and organizations responded, most of them alarmed about the idea. Is it really necessary to have two, a conductor and an engineer on these trains? It really is. Scott Jones works for the union that represents rail workers. He says technology has certainly made trains safer, but he says it will never replace human eyes and human experience. Rails break, um, cars pull out in front of trains. In Phoenix alone, we have three of the top 15 uh, worst grade crossings in America. I mean, these trains, uh, even at 15, 20 mile an hour, will tear a car in half. Jones says engineers and conductors are often the first responders when accidents and collisions do occur. Other safety experts worry that the same technical problems that often affect driverless cars could be catastrophic if they affect driverless trains. We reached out to the two companies that run freight trains through Arizona. Union Pacific responded and said they have no plans to run autonomous trains, but they are always looking into new technology. So are these autonomous trains being used anywhere at this point? Yes, in Australia, they just started running the world's first driverless freight trains. They carry mining ore, but you can bet that all of these freight train companies are watching Australia to see how these trains perform. Absolutely. Thank you, Morgan Lowe.